Hello, Poker News. I am here with the Jason Somerville of Rounded Up Poker. So I've noticed you've, ta you've kind of taken a step out of the poker spotlight, and can you give me any insight to what you've been doing lately? Well, yeah, that's a good question. I really haven't done very much since uh, COVID, uh, as I guess nobody really has. I've been uh, betting sports and just living in the dirty basement, you know? Like, that's what I always have done. And yeah, I don't know, we haven't been able to do live events because of COVID. I couldn't travel because of COVID. So I really just kind of took two years to peacefully gamble and apparently uh, play limit holding tournaments. So that's what we're doing here today. And good luck. I'm very excited to see how you do. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's a really tough field, of course. Terrence Chan is like the best limit player ever. Uh, Angry John is really good, even though he's like Happy John today. He's still pretty good. Uh, yeah, it's a tough field. I think I'm the shortest stack now, but I'm going to follow the instructions on my t-shirt and run it up. Run it up. Exactly. So, Run It Up was supposed to have a tournament in 2020 and it ended up not happening due sure. to COVID and everything. Yeah. Um, do you plan on coming back? The people need to know. Yeah, so uh, the plan was to kind of see how the World Series rent went with the vaccine right. requirements and everything and just see how the fields were because uh, our, par our partner at Pepper Mill in Reno, just they were like, we don't know what it's going to look like and whatever. So let's see how the World Series goes and then we'll decide. But, you know, Run It Up Reno is like the coolest thing I ever created. I don't have any kids, you know. Run It Up Reno is, is my baby, really. Uh, and so I don't want to abandon it. I'd like to keep going next year. So we'll see how the next month goes and hopefully do something in the spring next year. Well, good luck. I'm excited. Thanks. I'm excited and too. final question. So you did Make win it your, a good one. Yeah. <laughs> so you did win your first WSOP bracelet 10 years ago. Not going to be your last. But so what would it mean for your career and you personally if you won if you won another one now? Uh, well, particularly to make like a limit hold'em final table, like let's be honest, I have no clue how to play limit hold'em. I mean, I, I know how to play no limit hold'em, it's only a little different, but still. Uh, so yeah, it would be cool to win a second bracelet. You know, like uh, I always felt like one was way better than zero, and two is not quite as important as one, you know? But uh, yeah, it would be great. I'm just kind of playing the events that feel fun to me. Uh, and so I played like the Omaha High Low, I played the other Limit Hold'em, I played this tournament. So yeah, it would be cool. I'm out there uh, clicking around, having fun playing poker, and that's really all you can ask that's for in can. life, right? Yeah, so that's what I'm doing over here. Well, good luck, Jason. I hope you do run it up. Thank you, Poker News. If you want to follow along with Jason's journey, make sure you check it out on PokerNews.com, powered by Club GG.